Hey everyone, it's a favorite pastry, and welcome back to my second attempt at Fallout 4, You Only Live Once. Last time, as I'm sure you remember, we got booped on the snoot by a glowing one that randomly spawned just outside of Concord. That has never happened to me. And with my one intelligence, not Isabella, myself, I'm going to do everything exactly the same again. Now, why am I right inside on, the on, cryopods? Oh, it's simple. There are ten rad rotors between me and the exit. I'll find who did this. And they might bite me. Back. I promise. So I have to redo this entire section all over again. <coughs> Isn't that just wonderful? I am never not going to be salty about that glowing one. And as always, pick up everything. Oh yeah, with stem packs. Even though I can't use them, like I said last time, they're a good source of caps. And try to remember the controls because I have been playing a lot of Fallout 3 and New Vegas recently. And they're just ever so slightly different. Wait for them to turn around, and yes, there we go. Giant roaches. What the hell? Yeah, collect everything. Including the video game, because why not? Oh, wrong button. There we go. Oh. Would you just have the good graces? There we go. Up again. Wait. Wait. Get a little closer. Oh, I see the other one has snuck up on there. turned around on me on the last second there. You don't see me? My heart's a little racing right now. Okay, I'm hidden. Now where is he? Oh, that was close. That was too close. Oh. Parts are right racing. And we just started. Haven't even gotten to the hard part yet. This run is off to a great start. Oh yeah, a note on why I don't just casually walk up to ride roaches and then boop them on the snow. It's because when you do an attack, you're frozen in place. And if I miss the attack, I can't move out of the way. Whereas if I sprint, I still have some movement. It gives me 2% extra hope, and that's all I need. 
wait for this one to get back to the stairs and ah I got bit but he didn't bit me bite me thankfully it was only a sliver of health but that sliver is gonna stay there for the rest of the game Now I have a gun. That's going to make things way easier. And antibiotics. Thanks, game. Don't step on the skeleton as best as you can. And we're just going to open the evacuation tunnel. Ooh, free war money. Like in real life, pre-war money is just money. And we're going to use the patent technique. Get the VATS lock on. Exit, aim, and fire. VATS lock on. Exit, aim, and miss. And just do that because I am having a hard time aiming with the controller today. Actually, last night as well, when I play New Vegas, I could just. I just could not look around with the control stick for some reason. And sneak into here. Alright, oh, there's no rad roaches it's here that I need to worry about. And. Oop! Right in the butt. And one more. There we go. Now before we grab the pip boy, we're just gonna go around here and collect everything. Because what happens when you pick up the Pip Boy is that it creates an exact duplicate of Vault 111 that actually exists in real life. By real life, I mean in the game. Right now, everything time is frozen. It is perpetually 9 a.m. for the rest of eternity in Vault 111. I lost exactly one hit point. Not too bad. And before we continue on, I'm just going to do a recording check. Okay, looks like we're all good. I wanted to double check to make sure that OBS was recording the audio because last time OBS decided to change my audio settings on me. And you guys couldn't hear anything, which was super annoying. Just had to hear my my lovely voice. And that's all he had. Cause yeah, go so think if I'm right. If you go back here, yeah, no rad roaches. They completely remade the entire vault when you pick up that pet boy. Wonder if that means there's more stuff here. It doesn't look like it. And this time, we're leaving our name as Isabella Dietrich. 
because I am gonna die is absolutely cursed. But knowing my luck, there's going to be a bloody death claw on the way to Sanctuary. New Coca-Cola? Wait, wrong buttons. I'm also incredibly used to playing... Elden Ring. Where your inventory is done through the start button, whereas in this game, it's done by B is in Bravo. Ooh. What do you know that there was a death claw on the way to Sanctuary? It's just that it was its hide. Now I'm slightly paranoid that there's a live version just gonna be right around the corner. And as always, jump over the skeletons as best as you can. Because any little physic dam physics damage I take is permanent. The only time I'm allowed to start from previous save is if I brush against the car and it instant kills me for some reason. Because cars are evil like that and they'll just do that. I thought this mailbox was a raider about to shoot me. Thankfully, it wasn't. And before again, before we talk to Codsworth, Bingo. claim the settlement, flip some chairs around. There's a very important reason why we want to do that, but get rid of that chair without the back because I absolutely hate it. Don't worry, you won't see me scrap the entirety of Sanctuary. I'm just spending time scrapping right now. And we're gonna put you right there. And... Sure, right there. Oh gosh, I hit the wrong button. Grab myself a nice lovely bed. I accidentally hit the Xbox button. So it's gonna spend the next 10 minutes loading that up. And we're going to sleep for exactly one hour. There we go. The reason is, it resets the sleep meter. And we got a sequin dress. Yeah, which is A tier charisma gear. Now, we're going to talk to Codsworth. As I live and breathe. Lead the way. Proud to... Just going to skip that dialogue really quick. I'm sure most of us have seen it dozens of times by now. And I'm just going to let Codsworth do basically all of the work. Because I could watch hard work all day long. I was just getting warmed up. Flies. Wait. My senses are picking up movement in another house. And just come in here and take all of the military fatigues. Amazing. And steal everything that they own. Not like they care because they're probably kind of dead by now. Maybe I can get one of them? Miss 
Isabel? Your, your family isn't here either. They're, they're really gone, aren't they? Thanks for trying, Codsworth. You can't give up, Mum. What about the city? Concord is nearby, and, well, the people there have only shot at me a few times. Thanks for your help. Good luck. He said my name. I completely forgot that Cosworth will say your name. Especially if you have a more common name. Or some rude name that you came up with. Got it. Ooh, 10 millimeter rounds. Nice. But I won't take the extra 10mm pistol, because I already have too many. Alright, I just scrapped this little pad here. So we can start by building ourselves our very first uh, settlement recruitment beacon. And while we wait for the good looking stranger to come, We'll just do some more scrapping. And yes, I do realize that I have spare water bottle or bottles that I can fill with purified water, but I have nine at the moment, and I think nine is sufficient for the time being. I wish the stranger would walk here a little bit quicker. Hey, hello there. If I'm not mistaken, you're the gal I've been looking for. Do I know you? I heard your radio broadcast. Sounded as if you were starting some kind of settlement. Is that about the right of it? You looking for a new place to settle? Not me, no. But I have something that might help you with those that are. Here, catch. It's called an ASAM sensor. If you're going to be building settlements, these things are what you'll want to use. Yeah? Why is that? Mm, I think a demonstration is in order. Place that ASAM down on the ground somewhere. Go ahead. Any old spot will do. Nothing like quality assurance testing. Place that ASAM down on the ground somewhere. Go ahead. Oh. Any old spot will do. I don't think I've ever had Codsverse comment on that before. Maybe he did. I can't remember. It's been a long week. You've made the smart move of choosing Rocky Brand Gosh darn, this settlement is already really popular. Three additional settlers. I love that little jingle. Nicely done. Don't mind the ASAM. It's just scanning the area for materials. Now for this next part, I'm going to pretend to be a settler. It's come to work for you. So just play along, all right? Why don't we get one of the other settlers? Boy, do this. I sure am glad I found this settlement to live in. But oh no, there are no homes available. And I don't know how to build one myself. I guess I'll just have to rely on whoever runs this place to build a home for me. Don't sell yourself short. You're right. If only I had a little guidance, I could probably build something myself. But wait, what is this? Why, it's an ASAM! Just the thing I need! What do you need it for? That is a great question. You see, with an ASAM, there's no barrier for entry when it comes to building something. 
All I'd need to do is follow the step-by-step -step instructions provided by the ASAM. Here, let me show you. While he builds, I'm going to take care of some settlement stuff. And there you have it. A fully built home. Ready for habitation by some lucky wastelander. And you barely had to lift a finger. Not too shabby, huh? So now that you've seen what they can do, what do you think? Are ASAM sensors something you might be interested in? Yes. I'm really interested. <laughs> I thought you might be. Unfortunately, right now I only have the one sensor on me. However, I can provide you with more. And once you have more, I can show you even more stuff you could build with them. Homes are just the start. But first, I'm gonna have to ask for a little task done in return. There's always something that I need to do. Of course. Just tell me what you need help with. Alright, here it is. I got me a workshop at a town called Concord. Nice enough place, fairly quiet. Well, at least it was. But just recently, I returned from a trade run to find the entire town overrun by raiders. And now I can't get near my workshop. A small group I could deal with, but there's too many for me to take on alone. So I'm gonna need someone to help take them out. So there it is. That's the job. You help me get rid of these raiders, I'll give you more ASAMs. And show you how to build even more stuff with them. Don't worry. I'll help you deal with these raiders. You will? Oh, that's great. Okay then. Let's head to Concord and show those raiders who's boss. Lead on. Before we do that, I have a level up. And it's going to be the same one as last time, because I haven't learned a thing. And just going to deposit all of my extra stuff that I don't need. Scrap one of you. And wouldn't you know it, I'm out of adhesive again. It's always bloody duct tape. Bingo. Loot my house really quick. Oh yeah, and change outfit because I somehow managed to get military fatigues. And again, one point into endurance, or intelligence, sorry, to make up for my lack of intelligence. Yes, I'm not going to really do too much uh, tearing down because I know from experience that I'm going to be doing that basically as soon as I get back to Concord. Or sorry, back to Sanctuary. And again, that's a fire. Oh, finally! Of course it's not the very final house.
I completely forgot that I had three settlers here. Fertilizer. That's kind of useful. Alright, now we're ready to go with our new and approved 10mm pistol. I'm taking some gears. Ooh, circuitry. Right, I can grab circuitry as the, the campfire. Yeah, gears, circuitry, oil, and some steel. Because I can use that to make a turret. And a turret is going to be our a secret weapon of mine. Not taking a shotgun because even though it does a lot of damage, I I also need to be incredibly close to enemies for it to be useful. And you only live once. You don't want to be close to enemies. You want to be as far away as possible. Before we greet the dog. Just gonna build one turret. Ah, good. This place does have uh, does have extra duct tape. There he is. Hey, boy. What are you doing out here all by yourself? You want to come with me, pal? Okay, then. Let's stick together. Hey. How you doing, buddy? Stay safe, buddy. And we're going to leave him here. Guys, I'm going to use this facility as a northern base. Not Sanctuary, because Sanctuary is a little bit too far. I know it's literally just down the road. But that little exit down the road is a bridge too far, I find. And we're just going to wait until the mole rat starts showing up. Any minute now. There we go. I'd say that worked really well. There's totally going to be one more and they're going to jump scare me any second now. Hard hat. Extra defense. And we're just going to cook ourselves up some tasty mole rat chunks. There we go. Now I can see a little bit better. And we're just going to grab our turret and move it to over here. OK, 
because you can fill it all the way up to the little green line. That was way too close. Way too close, stranger. Or I forget. Jake falling right there scared the living daylights out of me. Before I forget, we're gonna drop off some of our extra gear. Grab some water. All right, now we'll continue on. And of course, I have to stop in here because it's a guaranteed nuka cola quantum. Yeah. And of course, there are some more drugs up here. Yes, a nuka cola quantum will basically restore all of my action points. Before we head into combat, Lone Wanderer. Okay, it froze there. Make me very nervous that the game was about to crash. Now we gotta be very, very careful here. Also, I do apologize for the noise. There is a parade going on right outside my house. Oh, danger. I don't like being in danger. Gonna back up. Do some light sniping. Barely doing anything. Or at least it seems like we're barely doing anything. And I'm out of 308 rounds. I'm hoping Preston can deal with the rest of them. They don't notice me quite yet. Oh, that was nowhere on target. We showed them. But shot. Wonder glue. Here, on the balcony. I've got a group of settlers inside. The raiders are almost through the door. 
Grab that laser musket and help us, please! I don't know who that was calling down to us, but it sounds like they could use some help in there. We still need to clear out all the raiders. And by the sounds of it, there's still some inside that museum. I'll stay out here and keep guard. You should head inside and help those people. We'll do that in just a minute. Ooh, Molotov cocktail. Very dangerous. Ah. There we go. Militia hat. Excellent. Now I have nine charisma. All right. Why don't we call it a day there? Again, thank you for joining me on my playthrough through Fallout 4. You only live once. As always, I'm rooting for you. We're all in this together.